Respect my rights. Respect the oath you took. You swore to protect my rights. If you want to trespass, so protect my rights. I'll put you in the cells. Protect, I need to protect my rights. Do you have a press ID? Sir? Do I need an ID to practice my okay. religion? You need to move away from the vehicle because we had a lot of vandalism. That has nothing and to do I with me. I hate to tag you into that. That has nothing to do with me. Okay, so you need to step away. Photography is not a crime, sir. It is. You can you can do it from over there. If you're going to be staring at a vehicle, then it's an issue. You can videotape all you want. The point exactly. Is, you exactly. The, uh, station house security for me, please. Cool. Station house security. Yeah. Go on, guys. Now you are okay. You are going almost inside the vehicle, which is you are not allowed. To I can't understand you. I'm sorry. You're going inside the I don't. Vessel. I don't wish to speak to any of you. If I'm not okay. being, if I'm you not, you can keep walking. If I'm not being detained, this, this is you're not being detained. So, you're free to go. In so, fact, I want you to go. So please stop talking to me. Thank you. No, you're going to move from this area because this is a restricted area. The sidewalk. Okay. No, it's the sidewalk. All these vehicles here that you're leaning Excuse into me. and looking into, they're police vehicles, so you can move. They're public property, sir. Excuse me. They're public property. You can take a they're hike, taxpayer sir. vehicles. No, they're Am police vehicles. Police in the United States are predators. And there is no clearer example than the NYPD. This is a short video, and I'm going to share this and do some commentary on a video of Good Guy Audits. I've spoken with him personally. He's a good man. He's a courageous man. He stands up for your rights and my rights. The NYPD is out of control. They literally have taken over New York City and the idiot Mayor Adams, who is ex-NYPD, is their king and he's given them full reign. However, every mayor before him has as well. But they have created their own laws. They call them policies. You try going to the any NYPD precinct. Just pick one. There's lots to choose from. And take your phone to record in there. And they will say, oh, you can't record, there's a sign. They made the freaking sign up. That sign has no statue underneath it. Literally, they have taken over. It is a police state. And if you don't stop recording, they'll say, hey, if you don't stop recording, we will arrest you for trespassing. And sometimes they just arrest you without even warning you. But if you don't stop, you're arrested. And most of the time with prejudice, which means violently. Violently. This will stop. At NYPD, we are coming for you in regards to your illegal and unconstitutional and unlawful and sadistic so-called policy. It says the public is not allowed to record in a police precinct. How dare you shred our rights, assault us with malice, with great contempt and disdain for we, the free people of the United States. How dare you? And we're going to end that policy. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. And Mayor Adams, you will bow to the knee of we, the people, to end that policy. Because it would take Mayor Adams 30 seconds to end. Hey, number one, everyone in the police precincts, you can no longer arrest, harass, assault, or arrest anyone for recording in a police precinct, in a lobby, or anywhere that is accessible to the public. Number two, any police officer, whether it's a captain, chief, lieutenant, sergeant, beat patrolman, or woman, if you do any of those things, assault, harass, or arrest them, uh, someone for just filming, as we have a right to do, then you, police officer, will be arrested with malice and prejudice immediately and charged with a felony. You will lose your job and you will go to jail for minimum one year. That's what you need to do, Mayor Adams. Grow some balls. Instead, you say, oh, I don't want people putting their cameras in my police officer's face. If you're, if you have to be that close, you need to get a better camera. 
stay back, keep your distance, and if you have an iPhone that can't record pictures from a distance, then get a new iPhone. That's Mayor Adams' warning to the public, who in this age of social media may be tempted to record members of his new anti-gun units or any other police officers in action. What is not going to happen? I'm not going to put these men and women on the front line and have someone put a foam in their face while they're taking action and try to critique their ability to do their job and allow the noise to determine that they're not doing their job correctly. Members of Mayor Adams' new neighborhood safety teams to get guns off the street will be wearing body-worn cameras to record their actions and make sure they're doing the right thing. He doesn't want members of the public interfering with what he says is a very dangerous job. If an officer is on the ground wrestling with someone that has a gun, they should not have to worry about someone standing over them with a camera. There's a proper way to police and there's a proper way to document. If your iPhone can't catch that picture, would you be in at a safe distance that you need to upgrade your iPhone? There's a proper way to police and there's a proper way to document. If your iPhone can't catch that picture, would you be in at a safe distance that you need to upgrade your iPhone? That you need to upgrade your iPhone. Stop being on top of my police officers while they're carrying out their jobs. That is not acceptable and it won't be tolerated. <laughs> These are authoritarians that would be well suited in Germany in the 1930s and 40s. New York City is not a free country or part of our free country. They play a free country on TV or a free state. But in reality, they are authoritarian as you get. Try recording in a police precinct and see if you lose your freedom. Check this video out. Good guy audits. What are you doing, sir? Minding my business. How are you? Okay, you're trespassing right now. These are all police vehicles. Unless you have a legitimate business to be here, go somewhere else. It's called journalism. It's what? It's called journalism. Freedom of the okay, press. Can I see your uh, press ID, please? You know what freedom of the press is? Do you have a press ID, Do sir? I need an ID to practice my okay. religion? You need to move away from the vehicle because we had a lot of vandalism. That has nothing and to do with me. And I hate to tag you into that. That has nothing to do with me. Okay? So you need to step away. Photography is not a crime, sir. I it is. You can, you can do it from over there. I if you're going to be staring at a vehicle, then it's an issue. You can videotape all you want. The point exactly. You know, exactly. The, uh, station house security for me, please. Ooh. Station house security? Yeah. Stone, yeah. Now you are, okay. you are going almost inside the vehicle, which is you are not allowed. I to can't understand you. I'm sorry. You going inside the? I don't. Restaurant. I don't wish to speak to any of you. If I'm not okay. being, if okay. I'm you not, you keep walking. If I'm not being detained, this is you're not being detained. So, you're free to go. In so, fact, I want you to go. So please stop talking to me. Thank you. No, you're going to move from this area because this is a restricted area. The sidewalk. Okay. No, it's the sidewalk. All these vehicles here that you're leaning Excuse into me. and looking into, they're police vehicles, so you can move. They're public property, sir. Excuse me? They're public property. You can take a They're hike, They're taxpayer sir. vehicles. No, the police free? vehicles. Am I free to go? You are free to go. And that, in means fact, keep that, means I'm, that means I'm free to stay. Thank you. No, you're not free if to I'm stay. If I'm free to go, I'm free to stay. Have a nice night. Go, go ahead and keep... Respect keep my rights. Here. Respect the oath you took. Oh, you swore oh. to protect my rights. If you want to trespass, so protect my rights. I'll put you in the cells. Protect, I need to protect my there. rights. Okay? Thank you. Protect my rights. Exactly. Protect my rights. Because I'm exercising, I just told you journalism. That means I freedom of the press. Do you know, right? you, you know, have I, it? You, you have I need your card. Idea, you know I'm exercising freedom of the press. You just admitted it. So if you violate my rights, your qualified immunity well, is gone. You leave. That's all I'm I don't doing. have to leave. I'm on the sidewalk. I'm waiting for business cards. Please leave me alone. Okay. Thank you. He clearly knows I'm exercising freedom of the press and he's still pressing the issue. That was him, right? I don't understand. I don't understand. What I don't understand is that why you guys, and hear me out, right? Why you guys swore, right? You swore an oath to the Constitution, which is the highest law of the land. And you're putting a policy over the Constitution. You are enforcing that policy as if it's law and it's not law. Do we not have a right to record in public buildings and work on a story? Yes or no? Is the police precinct not a public building? I see if I was, listen, let me finish my sentence. I see if I was beyond that gate. Beyond that gate is a restricted area. You service the public right there. You step in the building of Kansas, it's sensitive information inside of police. People's information line out, people are getting arrested. There's information that the public doesn't always need to know. It's other people's right to keep it private. I can go in there and record and have...
in photographic memory. I can stand there. I can stand there with a pen and paper and write down everything I hear. That's fine. Right or wrong. You can't record. You can't video record, audio, all that. That's a policy. That's what we're saying. It doesn't come from us. That's from the city of New York. There's also the right to record act. Which is a state law, which gives us express permission to record you anywhere, no exceptions. As long as it's a public area, we can record you at work. I am Leroy Truth with Leroy Truth Investigations. Individually, we will we don't have the power to change things. Collectively, we do. We need to put the public pressure on the mayor. Email the mayor. Try calling the number again as well. I'll put it in here, see if it's back in order. Call the chief of police. Call the police commissioner. Email them. Demand that the NYPD immediately end this illegal and all lawful action. Continued actions of arresting people who either record just out in public, the police, or record near or in police precincts, which we have a right to do. I'm taking my country back. You're taking your country back. As Martin... Luther King said, the problem is not that we are outnumbered. The problem is that we are out organized. There are about 800,000 police nationwide. There are over 30, I mean, 330 million of us. There are, there are over 800, there are around 800,000 police nationwide. There are over 330 million of us. Who has the power, really? I'm Leroy Truth. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video. Please share this video with your friends. Please comment for the algorithms. Ask your friends to subscribe as well so we can get the word out to even more people. And take our country back from the police state that it has absolutely become. And one thing we're going to do is we're going to end qualified immunity and internal investigations. See you next time.